What's up everybody, today I want to talk to you about hop-centric rings. So, today I'm going to tell you where these hop-centric rings are going to be installed and I'm going to tell you how you need to measure your wheels and your hop you to know what hop-centric size do you need for your car and your wheels. These hop-centric rings, you only gonna need it if you change your original wheels of your car, if you change your OEM wheels of your car. As you can see, these are not the OEM wheels of this Mitsubishi Lancer. I'm gonna show you. This Lancer came from factory with these steelies. So, in this wheel, we do not need hop-centric rings. So, I'm gonna show you where this hop center ring is going to be installed in this wheel in this car this hop center ring we are going to put it between the wheel and between the hop and i am gonna show you how if your car came from factory with steelies or uh, aluminum wheels it doesn't matter because it's from factory and it's in easy for factory but if you change for aftermarket wheels then you are gonna need hop centric rings hop centric rings we are going to put it behind here you can see behind the wheel in this part right here in this hole right here we are going to put it just like this and this is going to fill the space between this hole and the hub this part of the hub right here this diameter of the hub and you can see the inner diameter of the of this ring it's going to fit right here perfectly right here as you can see right here and the outer diameter of this ring is going to fit perfectly right here and that's going to centrate our wheel with our hub instead of the uh, stud centering the wheel putting the wheel without this it's going to make an unnecessary stress in these studs and it could break also if you feel at height at high speeds your your steering wheel wiggling doing like this is mostly because of this hub center ring that you don't have it and your wheel is not going to be centered with the hub and that's gonna cause the vibration in your steering wheel at high speeds so I put the wheel again in the car without the hop center ring for you to see what I'm talking about. So if we go in here, and you can see this is the hub right here and this is the wheel. As you can see there is a space between this part right here, this part right here and the wheel. You can see I can put my finger right in the middle of this space and that is gonna cause your vibration at a high speed so we are going to fill this space between the wheel and the hub with the hub centric ring every manufacturer of aftermarket wheels do this because they want their wheel to be generic to fit every car in the market if they put this center right here this hole right here the same as your hub only going to be for your car and not for every car and they want to sell the wheel for everybody for every car so yes i'm going to, i'm going to put the hub center ring and i'm going to show you how it's going to look right here so i'm sorry for my wheels this right here i want to do a video of how i'm going to fix them how i'm going to fix these things right here and these parts like this in this wheel so sorry if you see this ugly wheel like this but just yes, this video is about the hop centric and not the wheel so as you can see i have the hop centric ring in his position and as i told you the hop centric ring it's going to fill the space between the wheel and the hop as you can see right here here is the hub center ring right here you can see if I do this the hub center ring move and when we tie all this bolt the wheel is going to be centered by the hub and not by the studs right here and that's going to be safer for you at high speed and 
you will not cause any stress any unnecessary stress to this stud for this to this bolt so yes now i'm gonna show you what you need to measure to find the right size of hub center ring for your car and for your wheel for measuring you only will need a rule or a caliper or this thing that, that i forgot the name in english but one of these things and you are going to grab your rule and you are going to measure here in, cent in centimeters and you will you are going to convert this to millimeters and that it's going to be the internal diameter of the ring you can see is the internal diameter of the ring and the outer diameter is of the wheel and for measuring obviously with your caliper it's easier because you only do this and that's it and it's the same this thing like this so in the future i want to do a video of painting this brake this and this caliper but i don't know when measuring this part right here as you can see my caliper does not fit my wheel because it's a 14 inch wheel and do not fit so i need to calculate it with this rule right here but as you can see here you need the inside hole measurement so as you can see i'm gonna put it right here in this in the inside area and i'm going to measure and that's going to be the outside diameter of your hub center ring as you can see if i put it right here it's perfectly center in this hole so yeah now i'm gonna show you how we are going to put this in the car to put everything on you only need to put the hub center ring like this and just put your wheel again and torque it to spec and that's it so as you can see i have everything again in the car i torque the wheel stud to spec and i have my hub centric ring as you can see right there and now i want to show you the measurements the size sorry the size of my hub centric ring but if you have the same car as as me this means switch lancer these sizes that i'm going to show you do not mean that your car will have the same sizes so you need to make sure and measure everything as i told you as i showed you to be sure what size of hub center ring you will need for your car and your wheels so this hub center ring are 56.1 millimeter millimeters sorry of internal diameter you can see d2 is the internal diameter of the hub center ring and 66.1 millimeters of the outer diameter of the hub center ring so i hope you like this video i hope it was helpful for you like subscribe and see you on the next video